Babs, welcome back. Thank you. So here today, taking a look at you know, potentially new toy in the driver section. Yes, exactly. So we've got a couple of heads that we kind of talked about during the interview, and if you want to give us a little rundown, current gamer, what do we see that we would ideally like to improve upon? What brings us in? What, would, what do we want to change? Yeah. Uh, right now, I mean, I've been playing the, the Callaway Maverick. It's been good. It's been probably 18 months, two years since I've put this in the bag, so it's treated me well. Um, but it's definitely a little bit older technology. Sure. Um, my caddy and I, I made a couple little swing changes recently, so um, we feel like the drive is good, but maybe we can just improve the consistency a little bit. Okay. Um, and just maybe just get the ball launching a little bit higher and uh, easier to draw. So looking a little higher launch window and something that's easier to turn over sort of, for you? Yeah. I always feel like I swing at my best when if I feel like the ball is going to turn over easy. Then, that, then I can just sort of swing away and I don't need to really think too much about it. Perfect. And yeah. is there a particular miss that we want to avoid? Uh, the, the, I mean, I'd say the right shot the, is, the, is the miss. So that's where I feel like if I, if I can turn it over easy, then I feel like that takes out the right side for me. Because usually if I have to either help the ball up in the air or if I have to feel like I have to really turn it, then I either I hang back too much and that creates the right shot. Got it. So. Well, we've got a few different heads to test, and as we kind of talked about, a couple of different options, few yes. different manufacturers. That's kind of the beauty part about going through the fitting. That's the and best being... bit about being here at TrueSpec. There's no bias to one brand. Exactly. It's just whatever fits best. So I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pumped. Well, let's dive into it. We'll grab yeah. a baseline with the current driver and see what we can improve from there. Well, let's go. So taking a look at our numbers here, 83 feet average apex height, landing angle coming in at 34 degrees, spin right at 26. We talked about that launch at 8.3, little on the low side. Yeah. Objectively, we were trying to get a little higher apex height, yeah. create that higher launch window, maybe chase a little extra carry yardage out of it. Yeah, sure. So gamer head right here, we're coming in a little over 198 grams. First head I want to test is going to be new Rogue ST Triple Diamond. This is a tour exclusive head, but going to give us a little higher launch than some of the production heads that are available. Okay. So let's start with this guy and see what we get. Sounds great. So making a jump after testing a little bit of the Callaway product, we're going to move into Cobra LTDX LS. So this has tested really, really well for us. And actually, when we were doing some robot testing early in the year, this really surprised us with the consistency and ball speed. So curious to see how we hit it. Yeah, I'm excited. So wrapping up, we definitely were able to check those boxes, got a little higher launch, a little bit more control, and definitely tightened up some dispersion downrange. So making the transition from Gamer Maverick head, stayed in the Callaway family yeah. despite all the different heads we tested. So made a change to the Rogue ST Max LS, the tour version, a little different face progression, but checked all the boxes for us. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I felt like the, the consistency with the ball hit in the middle of the club face was, was great, and then just, Actually, also just the feel, I could feel like I could give it a rip, you know, it wasn't, I had to like control it, I could just stand up there and, and get, really get, go after it. That was one thing that I really noticed, the dispersion on the face tightened up significantly, and start line, I mean, just in relationship to target, was much more consistent than what we saw in the Gamer Maverick. Yeah. So I think definitely a good choice. One thing that was kind of interesting and that kind of took you by surprise was head weight. Head weight, yeah. We went from close to 200 grams of static weight in the head 
and made a drop down to a little over 190 and slowly worked it back up with a little lead tape work. Yeah. And yeah. now we're sitting right around that 195 range yeah. and much more consistent. Much more consistent. I think I think just the, the way I release the club, it really matches well. And um, hey, that's why we test. About 100%. Yeah. And shaft change also made a little bit of a difference. Yeah. We went from that Tensei Blue and that 65 TX, jumped up to Tensei Red and a 70 TX, and also helped us with a little bit more consistency as far as your release pattern goes. No, absolutely. I felt like, it was, like I said, the biggest thing I felt like I could hit it. I feel like that's when you know you, you got it right because you can go ahead and give it a rip and you're not trying to steer it or trying to make good contact. You can just swing away. No, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how this guy does for you out on yeah, tour. Me too. And anything else we can do for you, let us know. Beauty. Cheers.